What is going on guys, my name is Shamaria, and for today's video I wanted to talk about Ashes of Creation. Ashes of Creation was announced in 2016 and has been in development for several years and I think it's been like 4 plus years. Anyways, the developers of the games have said that they'll be adding in some very interesting features into the game. Features such as player cities, player housing, a node system, etc. And while some of these features exist in other MMOs, they aren't as thought out as Ashes of Creation. For example, in other schools online, they have player housing, but it's all instance. Ashes of Creation will have instance housing as well, but they'll also have open world housing, and the instance housing will be reserved for apartments and such. And while Arc Age does have player cities, it's not as thought out as Ashes of Creation. And Ashes of Creation will have caravans, and this feature has been done in games like Black Desert, and Arc Age, but again, it's more thought out in Ashes of Creation. After all, Ashes of Creation is trying to improve upon the MMO genre to make it better, and to do that, they need to do things better than their predecessors. And it looks like they're doing exactly just that. They don't want to be the same as other MMOs. They want to be different than other MMOs. It seems like time and time again that many MMOs tried to copy the WoW formula only for it to end up backwards, or at the very least, it didn't go like how they planned. Apparently, there are really only four big fantasy MMOs out there right now. Those being WoW, Elder Scrolls, Black Desert, and Final Fantasy, a Realm of War. Of course, there are other fantasy MMOs out there, such as Guild Wars and Lineage, but those three are the, those four are the big ones, what with, with the uh, most population and the ones the most talked about. Now, Ashes of Creation had a rocky start with its marketing, what with lots of people thinking it was a scam, Ashes of Creation is beginning to dispel those notions. This is a, a very good thing for the game, obviously, because it means more people will be interested in the game. And if the game gets popular enough, it might be able to change the gaming industry, and more importantly, the MMO genre. Because right now, the MMO genre is sort of lacking in innovation. Although there are games like Star Citizen, Dual Universe, Crowfall, and maybe even uh, New World being made, which are all quite innovative. But most MMOs that are being made are not trying to be innovative. Of course, when making an MMO, or any game, one doesn't always have to be innovative, but it does help. After all, sometimes when a game is innovative, it brings in a whole bunch of people who want to make games similar to the one who initiated the first innovation. For example, when Dark Souls first came out, there really wasn't any games like it. Though there was Demon Souls, but it didn't bring the genre to the masses like Dark Souls did. Ever since its release, it's inspired a new genre of games. The same could be said with Destiny. Destiny was quite innovative for its time, and while Borderlands was a similar shooter, it was only a cooperative game and not an MMO like Destiny. It's, that said, it's still a quite innovative game, in and of itself. If Entropid Studios makes the game right, then it can inspire a whole new way of making MMOs. Although, the way they're making MMOs isn't completely new, as uh, games like Star Wars Galaxies and Arc Age did it before them, but unfortunately those games didn't make as big of an impact in the genre and industry as other MMOs did. Because if they had, they probably would have stayed on the market longer. Although, Arc Age is still on the market, but it feels like it's gonna die soon. So. Uh, but like I said, if they do do it right, they could make a huge impact on the genre. Maybe even more so than what. Now, of course, some people will say that this game is going to be a WoW killer, but Intrepid has said they're not trying to make a WoW killer. And honestly, if WoW was going to die at all, it was going to die by its own hand. That said, this game doesn't need to be a WoW killer or anything like that. It will be its own thing as it should be. But yeah, Ashes of Creation is looking quite interesting, and even though I prefer space and sci-fi games, I don't mind playing fantasy games if they're done right. After all, I spent hours upon hours of WoW and Skyrim and such, and I even played Arc Age for a good time when it came out. I just hope that they don't end up going down the same road as Arc Age. That is my worst fear for the game. I want this game to have not just a good beginning, but a good and long-lasting existence as well. I want to be, like, freaking 40 years old and still playing this game. That said, Ashes of Creation has things going for it that make it stand out. One, Intrepid Studios is making it their goal to make sure the gameplay revolves around the community, such as things like town elections, node advancement, node sieges, etc. One thing about the nodes that I liked was that if multiple nodes that are all in close proximity to each other advance to a certain level, a world event will occur, such as a dragon spawn. And that dragon will try and wipe out the city, and it will be up to the players to 
that live there to defend it. Now to me, that is a great way to get the community together. And I don't know of any other game that has that kind of thing. I like that everyone has to work together to not only grow both the community, but their settlement as well. I mean, yeah, in games like WoW and Elder Scrolls Online, you have uh, communities coming together for raids and dungeons and stuff, but those are options. Having something like the node system will have to make the community work together or else risk losing their city. Also, the caravan system is another great way to bring the community together, together because players will obviously need to protect the caravan. And those are just a few of the community-driven gameplay the games will have. There will be a lot more, and I cannot wait. There's just so many things going for this game that other games don't have, and I want to see it succeed. Anyways, as for why Ashes of Creation would be the next big fantasy MMO, well, basically it's because it's doing things far better than its predecessors. It's taking all of the features of past MMOs, as well as adding some new ones, and putting them all together into one MMO. Most MMOs only focus on one thing, like, PvP, like PvE or PvP. I mean, yeah, MMOs usually have both, but usually one will dominate the other, even if both are included and worked on. But in Ashes of Creation, both are necessary. Anyways guys, that'll be it for this video. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you really liked the video, make sure to drop a sub. Alright, my name is Shamario, and I'm out of here. Peace.